Hello again. Well, we're on Soap Watch with Julian now. And in Emmerdale, Paddy the Vet is really finding Rita a bit irritating at the moment. And boy, does he put his foot in it this week. I mean, Nan's so desperate to meet you. Y your Nan is desperate to meet me? Why is your Nan desperate? Uh, does she not get out much? Uh, Why is she? I'm sorry, but the answer's no. Paddy! I'm sorry, Rita, but I am not Russell Crowe. I will not be paraded around your whole sad, crying family like some sort of superhero who isn't. First of all, you forced me to meet your parents, then it's your Nana, then next it'll be your flipping sister or something, but over my dead body. <laughs> Mum! Mum! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Jeff. It's too much. Sally, Rita's sister, died eight months ago. Hit and run. <sighs> now, you see, talking of putting your foot in it, Lisa, uh, Lisa Dingle thinks that her Zach is getting passionate with Rosemary in the potting shed. <laughs> so she goes round to Rosemary's place to name names and slap faces. No. Why? Just tell me that. I know you lost your husband and I'm sorry for I you. I don't need your sympathy. No, just my husband. Oh, this is really getting tiresome. Oh, is it now? How terribly awful for you. As if it isn't bad enough you moving in on Zach, but you've already lured Belle with your fancy ideas and notions of a posh education. Well, how do you think that makes me feel? Now, let me get this straight. Not only have I taken your husband away, I've also taken your daughter. Oh, nothing wrong with your hearing, then. Well, you know what they say. Nothing can be taken that doesn't want to go. Perhaps you ought to ask yourself why it is that Belle enjoys spending time with me, and your husband, too, for that matter. Oh! Lisa, what the hell do you think you're doing? Ooh, you, see, right hook. Ah. you see, you don't mess with dingle weemen, especially the big ones. Mm. Now, it's a very emotional week in Corrie this week, because starting off with, d uh, d Ken decides that he should tell Claire the whole truth about what a liar Deirdre Barlow is. Is this some kind of joke? You're not the first to wonder. Tracy was lying to me. And you knew. Oh, Enough. Claire, wait! <sighs> what happened to integrity? Don't say a word. Mm. You see, that buggy went out of that room so fast it would have left scorch marks on the carpet. <laughs> now, I didn't mean I didn't mean Tracy Barlow there. I meant I didn't mean dear Jane, I meant <laughs> Tracy. Yes, because she led Claire a bit of a merry dance. She did. Lesser. Well, the whole yes. lot of them have to tell you the truth. Well, that's true. Now, it's a very emotional week, too, for Big Eileen, because it looks like it's bye-bye Holly, and Big Eileen's heart is broke. I can see she's been very well cared for. Um, shall I just... Do you know, I think she's going to need feeding before she goes. Can you just put one of her dinners in? Uh, no, don't worry. We can feed her later. Yeah, well, you're going to live to regret it. See, she likes the food, does Holly? As you can hear, she doesn't like to wait. She'll be fine. Really? I'll take her. Please, just let me do it one more time. Mum, you got to let go. Mum. Come on, Holly. Time to go chat us. Hey? See, when you boil it all down, wee Holly is Big Charlie's baby, and the wee girl who gave birth to her wants her back. You see, whose name's on the birth certificate? Well, that's what we don't know. Did we know a birth certificate was, was actually signed? Because if it has got Jason Grimshaw on it, I don't think we're going to be seeing the last of wee Holly. Mm -hmm. It's all you wee Holly see? and Big Eileen and uh, all uh, the absolutely. girls. Well, they're all, either we are big. That's right. They? What about, uh, can I ask you something about Emmerdale? It's going to go all now, arty farty Jesus, now. That's my big favourite uh, programme, obviously. Emmerdale, yeah. <laughs> <You're a laughs> that's the only thing I know about soaps is that they've been in trouble recently. Ofcom have wrapped their knuckles about a scene, a very violent scene apparently, where somebody gets shot in the stomach. That was Sadie, but that was all a bluff, and they were making it look violent because they were bluffing. It's no more ah. violent than cage fighting that we featured no. on the show on Friday. No more so violent than you on the field, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> So, big week next it weekend. Is, it, we it, have a quick sneak preview of what's going to happen, do you think? Have you any surprises for us? Well, uh, what I can tell you is that um, we ho the Wee Holly thing, Wee Holly is going to disappear for a couple of weeks and then rumblings are going to start and she could be <gasps> coming back. You see, will it be another baby? Will it be the same baby? In soaps, they like to bring back different children yes but generally when they when it's when they get a bit older you know like I mean Tracy Barlow went upstairs years ago that size and came down with 
you know, a bigger, <laughs> a bigger girl. <laughs> As I keep saying, she used to say, I'm going upstairs to play with tapes. And that's all, that's, that's all she did now. She came down and she was a man eater. That's right. And look what happened to her. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, you see. it's all happened. That should be a lesson to all young ladies out there. Big or small. Bigger, bigger we love. <laughs> we'll see you next week, Julian. Absolutely.